Do you remember how it used to be trying to animate more than one character at a time? Painful. Like stiff as a board character kind of painful. Body moving? Nope. Nada. And if you actually wanted them to talk to each other, forget it. Right. You had to animate each character separately, sync all the voices, stitch together, basically spend three episodes of your life doing something that should take one. But here's the thing. Now there's a brand new way you can do multi-character animation that actually makes it fun to do, and especially to watch. For example, no more yelling at your computer at 2 a.m. Remember that? Yep. Want to see the magic? Then watch this video. Seriously, it's worth it. Check this out, Design recently dropped a game-changing update. You can now animate and lip-sync multiple characters at once. Basically, no more staring at frozen cartoons like they've got stage fright. And the best part? It works for non-human characters too. Cats, aliens, talking cupcakes, whatever you want. Honestly, I'm really impressed. Hi, I'm Whiskers, your personal pastry chef. Today, I'm whipping up cookies, and somehow I got animated using Design AI. Honestly, it's easier than rolling cookie dough. Just upload your audio and AI does the rest. You focus on the fun stuff. Storytelling, creativity, snacks. So, cookies or animation? Why not both? <laughs> Okay, so the first thing you need is an idea, and then you need to create some characters and an image. So I came to ChatGPT and asked for help with a few ideas, and eventually created some image prompts for my story. Once I had the prompts, I came over to here to work on some images. I made these and decided to use this one. Next, I downloaded it, made some color corrections, upscaled it, and then was ready the next step. Remember, you can use any art generator you want to, Leonardo, Picklumen, etc. I also tried out Nano Banana and made these. After some edits, color corrections, and upscaling, I was ready to go on to the next step, which is actually starting to animate my characters and lip syncing them too. So let's go there next. All right, so to create my audio for my characters to speak, I came to Google AI Studio. You could use Eleven Labs or any other text-to-speech generator. Once you get inside, it looks like this. What I did next was choose Generate Speech. You can also come here, which is what I do most of the time, and click Generate Media, and then you'll see all the tools. Then click on Generate Speech. You can choose single, or in this case, I'll be using two voices, so I'll pick multi-speaker. I'm using speaker one and speaker two. So I've chosen the voice for speaker one and also the voice for speaker two. Next, I came down here and gave it some instructions, basically to speak as if it's talking to friends. And then here's what speaker one is saying, and here's speaker two. And you can also see the dialogue right over here. I just went through my text and just broke it up like that. And then once I had it all exactly like I wanted, I clicked on Run. It only takes a few minutes. Once it finished, you'll see the output right here. If you want to listen to it, click right here. If you want to download it, you click here. And then you'll be able to use this recording in your stories, etc. So now that I've got my recording all done, let's go on to the next step. So now I'm going to start putting this together and I'm going to use Design. If you don't have an account, I've put a link in the description for you to use. After logging in, I'll click on New Project right here and then choose 16 by 9. Okay, so there we go. What I'm going to do is drag in an image I've already made right here. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to come up here to Lip Sync and click on that. Next, I'm going to pick a face using this image. You see, it's picked all these faces, but I don't want all of them. I just want these two. So I'll pick this one, important. I'll pick him first, since he's the first one to talk in the video. Then I'll pick her next, and I'll click here on next. I could pick a voice just by clicking here, and you see there's a lot of voices to choose from, but you can also upload an audio. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'll drag in my file right here. Oops, I got an error message that it has to be under 30 seconds. So give me a few minutes to fix that. So I'm back and I'll upload my new file and I had to make several changes to it just to make it work. I decided I'd go ahead and split up my narration so that I had only the guy talking, including silences for the lady to speak, and then the same for the girl. You can see how that looks there on the screen right now. So where the guy is talking, there are silences for the lady and vice versa.
as you're working, you can also click on this to hear it by clicking right there. I encourage to do that before generating to catch any mistakes. Once you're happy with it, then click on Generate. Make sure you're happy with it first because you'll waste a lot of credits and time if you don't listen to it first. Now it's going to start processing. You can see it right over here on the top. Once it's done, click here to watch it. What I love is that you can also see movement from the other people behind them. Do you remember how it used to be trying to animate more than one character at a time? Painful, like stiff as a board character kind of painful. Body moving? Nope, nada. And if you actually wanted them to talk to each other, forget it. Right, you had to animate each character separately, sync all the voices, stitch together, basically spend three episodes of your life doing something that should take one. When you're ready, click here to download. I've also made another one. This is the last part of the audio I had to cut earlier. Let's watch it. But here's the thing. Now there's a brand new way you can do multi-character animation that actually makes it fun to do, and especially to watch. For example, no more yelling at your computer at 2 a.m. Remember that? Yep. Want to see the magic? Then watch this video. Seriously, it's worth it. So since my video was over the 30 second mark, that's why I had to make two. I'm blown away. It's just incredible how good the results are using this. And let's not forget about the non-human character. These are especially hard for most softwares to animate. Hi, I'm Whiskers, your personal pastry chef. Today, I'm whipping up cookies, and somehow I got animated using Design AI. Honestly, it's easier than rolling cookie dough. Just upload your audio and AI does the rest. You focus on the fun stuff, storytelling, creativity, snacks. So, cookies or animation, why not both? <laughs> and if you love finding out about crazy cool AI tricks before everyone else, subscribe now so you're the first to know when new AI tools drop. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching.